All right, so in this problem, we have a written function, and we want to see which of the following options represents the function given to us perfectly. So if we read it out loud, we have y is equivalent, so y equals to the difference between, so that we're going to have a subtraction in the middle, the difference between twice the value of x, so 2x, and a constant where the constant equals 3. So this is our linear function that we are given, and we want to see which of the following options represents this function. Now let's take a look at option A. We have a decreasing slope with a y-intercept at negative 3, which is exactly what we have here given. And now we just have to see if it has the same slope of positive 2 in order to see if this line represents the same function. So in order to find our slope, we're going to pick two points. We'll pick this point and this point. Our first point will be 3, comma 0, and our second point will be 0, negative 3. And the way that we will solve for the slope will be our slope formula, y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So let's plug that in. We have negative 3 minus 0 divided by 0 minus 3. So if we simplify this, we have negative 3 divided by negative 3, which gives us a positive 1. Now this slope is different than the slope given in our linear function, therefore a does not have the same slope and will be eliminated, and we can move on to option b. Alright, now b states x is equivalent to the sum of half the value of y and a constant where the constant equals 3. So if we write this out, we have x is equivalent to the sum, so we're going to have a plus in the middle, to half the value of y and a constant 3. Now in order to see if this function is equivalent to the function given, we want to isolate y, like the function that we have given, to see if it looks the same, if it equals the same value. So in order to isolate y, we will first subtract 3 on both sides. So we have x minus 3 equals y divided by 2. And now we'll multiply 2 on both sides, and we will get 2x minus 6 equals y. Now this function is quite different than the function given, and therefore b is eliminated also as an option because they are two different functions. Now c is a quick one to also eliminate because we have y equals 2x plus 3 and not y equals 2x minus 3, and therefore there is quite a big difference in the y-intercept, and c will be eliminated. Now let's see why d is correct. We have a table given here with different values of x and y, and in order to see if this represents our function, we will plug in the values and see if they equal, if they are, if they create true statements. So instead of the x and y in our given function, I'm going to be plugging in the points given. So instead of y, I'm going to be writing negative 3 equals 2 times 0 minus 3. And that gives us negative 3 equals negative 3 which is a true statement. Now let's move on to the second point. We have negative 1 equals 2 times 1 minus 3, and that gives us negative 1 equals 2 minus 3, which also gives us a negative 1, also a true statement. D is going to be the correct answer, and you are more than welcome to complete and plug in all the rest of the values to see that all of them will give you true statements. And our final answer will be D.